This short video is from a comprehensive course on Udemy. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use ChatGPT+. This is the paid version of the platform that offers faster response times, general access during peak usage, and priority access to new features. Let's take a look. So here we are at the main screen for ChatGPT+, otherwise known as ChatGPT4. Now you'll probably remember this option from the previous video. If we click here, we now have access to the free version and the paid version of ChatGPT. And it's good to have access to both because look at this, limit 40 messages every three hours. So if you're coming to ChatGPT for fun, if you don't need those extra features that ChatGPT Plus allows, you might want to use the free version so you don't max out that 40 messages for every three hours limit. So down here, you probably noticed that this is new. This is the plugins option. And in an upcoming video, we'll be looking at plugins much more in depth, but I just wanted to show you real quick. Click here. There's the likewise plugin ready to go. Click here. These are the plugins we'll be demoing later. And that's where you find access to the plugin store, but we'll come back to that. So I'm gonna exit out of this. And now I'm gonna head down here to the bottom left-hand corner, click on my name, and we have some new options here. So first I'm gonna to head to settings and beta. Now general is the same, beta features, this is new. We've got plugins and advanced data analysis, and they're both set to on right now. And I just touched on plugins briefly, and trust me, you want that option enabled. Right here, advanced data analysis. So do you need help with image conversions, editing a code file? Look at this, executing Python code. You wanna come here and make sure this is on because those are some pretty neat features. And depending on what you need chat GPT plus four, that could come in handy. So down here, the builder profile. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more in a second, but this is where you come to create your own profile. So open AI can keep track of you as a custom GPT builder. So just so you know, this is where that is. So I'm gonna exit out of here, head on back down here. Custom instructions is still the same. So the My GPTs section. Now, if you look up the left-hand side of the screen, you'll also see an option, which I'm about to go to called Explore. That and this both take you to the same place. And this addresses the builder profile that I just touched on, and it addresses new features that really just showed up in my GPT Plus account today. So we're gonna be taking a look at those in just a second. This is where you go to access the features of your plan. I'm gonna exit that, head up here. These are my previous prompts. Don't look at this one. So I'm gonna hit explore. And now look at this. This is the explore section, the my GPT section. And we saw those two areas where we could access this. And this is also connected with the builder profile that we looked at. So what is a GPT? Well, basically a GPT is a customized version of chat GPT plus. And so who customizes them? Well, initially, the first ones are customized by OpenAI. We can see here Dolly 3, which we'll look at in its own video coming up soon. By ChatGPT, by ChatGPT, these GPTs are customized by OpenAI. Now, if I go up here, this has everything to do with the builder profile. If you come here to this section, you want to create your own GPT, this is where you come to do it. And for custom GPT builds, this is where you can feed specific data to fine tune a GPT to the purposes you have for it. You can implement your own rules and features, and basically you're creating your own unique chat GPT plus application. You can tailor make a GPT to serve your purposes. Now, if I wanna make a sticker and ship it right to my door, this one's for that. If we scroll down here, sous chef recipes cooking that gpt is just for that math mentor that gpt is just for math helping me with math problems so as you can see gpts are here to help tailor your experience to a specific task a specific purpose and if you want to build your own you can do that which is pretty neat and if you want to use the ones that chat gpt has already created if you see here you can load more of them then you can go ahead and do that Whereas a plugin, as we'll see in an upcoming video, 
is something that comes alongside ChatGPT Plus and helps it out for a specific purpose. These are actual customized versions of ChatGPT that you can set up for yourself. So both are very helpful options for the ChatGPT Plus experience. But this, you can get your hands dirty, so to speak, by creating your own. So now we're gonna head back over here and leave this section. And this is still the same. If you want a new, fresh chat ready to go, just click here. And what I'm gonna do now is come down to this paperclip icon because this has everything to do with the data analysis that we looked at under settings and beta, which we can turn on or off. The paperclip icon allows me to browse files on my computer, upload them to ChatGPT, and ask ChatGPT to analyze them. So I clicked on the paperclip here. And my computer brought up some options for files I could download, images. So I decided to go with an image. And I know all about that image. I created it on Dolly 3. So side note, if you like this image, stick around for the Dolly 3 video that we have coming up soon. So it's a Ford GT sports car located in Monument Valley, USA. It's a gorgeous place. I've been there. So I know all about this image because I created it. So I asked ChatGPT to analyze this photo and give me a brief description. So because I created it and because I can see it, it's easy to analyze whether ChatGPT Plus is going to be able to analyze this photo well based on its response to this prompt. So let's see what it does. So here's the response, and I can see that the results ChatGPT gave me are accurate. Based on this amazing Dolly 3 generated image right here, we've got dramatic desert landscape, check, and it's Monument Valley, yes. So that's correct. Uh, we've got the sleek sports car. So that's correct. Sand dunes rippling gently. Uh, yep, I say rippled sand dunes. Two-tone color scheme. Yeah, it, it did a great job. It analyzed this image very well. So if you have a document that you need analyzed, that you need it to pick out certain features in that document so you don't have to read through it all again yourself, or if you have an image like this that you need to analyze, the data analysis feature of ChatGPT Plus is going to be quite useful for you. So the last feature I want to touch on with ChatGPT Plus is the whole browsing with Bing option that we have. And this exemplifies a big difference between the free version and the paid version. The free version of ChatGPT does not use the internet. It has a knowledge cutoff that draws information from before that cutoff. With ChatGPT Plus, we can browse the internet and not only get great information from subjects long, long ago, but we can get great information on yesterday, a few days ago, and the last couple of years, pulling from website sources. So let's look at this prompt here. Tell me what happened with the San Francisco 49ers over the weekend and give me a brief rundown of their last two seasons. Please include website sources. So let's see how it does. Okay, so we have our response here. And as it was researching, it did say doing research with Bing. Now we have a great response here. It's what I was looking for. It addressed what happened over the weekend. We have a website source. It looks back at the past two seasons and we have two website sources here. And it even adds a little bit more information here about an injury. So you can see that doing research with ChatGPT Plus is much better than the free version, especially when it comes to things that are recent events, things that have happened within the last two years. And just for kicks, let's look at what the free version gave us. Here we are at the free version of ChatGPT. I entered in the same prompt, and here's the information that we got. I'm sorry, but I don't have real-time information. My knowledge was last updated in January of 22. To get the latest information on the San Francisco 49ers, it's directing me to the internet, not here. So. Upgrading to ChatGPT Plus for research really does give you a big advantage over the free version. So there you have it. We've just wrapped up a brief look at ChatGPT4, aka ChatGPT Plus, the new top of the line model from OpenAI. With all these great features and cutting edge capabilities, which are constantly evolving by the way, ChatGPT Plus really does put you at the forefront of AI technology. I highly recommend this platform. It's definitely worth the monthly subscription. In the next video, we'll be looking at something that is key to our AI interactions, constructing effective prompts.